will need to complete this DIY project is a glue gun, a rustic palette sign, a sponge, a color paint, a paper plate to put the paint in, scissors, flowers or decorations, sticky letters, and the ribbon is optional. You're such a bad, 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 bad boy. And I like it. So what you're gonna need is any color paint that you'd like. We went with the brown because we wanted to stay with the more classic, uh, traditional type. Wooden, rustic, yeah. So I got acrylic paint because it dries really fast and it's like, does, it stains really well. So I use a sponge so I can get that effect of like not where it's like solidly painted, but I kind of wanted like more of the, the spongy feel with the paint. This part is honestly up to you. Some people decided they didn't even want to paint it and just like kept going with the wooden look, but you're gonna still get the wooden look even because it is wood. So we just finished painting our rustic palette sign. And like, as you can tell, we just painted like two minutes ago and it's already like kind of dry. Yeah, we painted it super fast. It's a really fast project. And the sponge too. effect like makes it to where it dries super easy. Now for the lettering part, you can purchase these. We got ours at Hobby Lobby, but you can diff get different kinds of letters that suit whatever you feel is necessary. And you can get whatever colors you want. I'm pretty sure they have an assortment of colors. We're basically going to put a uh, acrostic poem. So we're going to put mother in one color of letter. So in the white, all the way down a row, and we're gonna make sure that's lined up, and then we're gonna stick out the rest of the words in black. So make sure whatever letter, like words you choose for your mother, that you have enough letters for them. What we're doing for our description of each letter for each word is a description of our mother, so yeah. So this is the optional part. We're gonna use ribbon, and we are going to make the letters pop out by doing one strip of it. And we wanna down. have it long enough so that we can tuck it and glue it on the back so you're not having like ugly ends. Well, first we wanna glue the front so that way we make sure it stays in place. So we're just gonna do a dot on each panel underneath, like not too much, just so you can... You can the less glue, honestly, the better, because the more glue you use, the more of a bump it creates, and then the easier it is to pull off. Yeah, and it won't look as good. You just want it to be really flat, so that way you can't. Especially using ribbon, it can really like take the heat. And then you're gonna flip it over. So there. So this one you can put a lot of glue on because it's basically kind of holding it together. Yeah. You're gonna pull it really tight because you don't want the ribbon to sag on the front. So now that we've done that, we're gonna first start off just putting our mother on it. So that way we can just have a gauge for where we're gonna put the rest of the letters. Yes. Even though these letters are sticky, you do wanna re-glue them down just so you can make sure that they don't fall off because they probably will, especially if they're on ribbon. Okay, so this is what it looks like right now. We just laid it out, so now we're gonna go through and glue each of these. So once you figure out the spacing, it becomes easier when you add the other letters to it. So the first one we're gonna do is amazing. And then the next one is gonna be lovely. We're going to do strong. Our next one is happy. Our next one is going to be selfless, so we're gonna do S. Then our next one is friend. Now Lex is gonna start and glue them down. Next, we're just going to add some cute decorations, so we're gonna add flowers. And here's your flower, and this one luckily already came flat, so you're just gonna hot glue it. We're gonna take the littler flower, and you're going to overlap it a little bit, kind of like this. This is what your complete Mother's Day present should look like. This is what ours looks like, and this is decorated. So we hope you enjoyed this little segment on what to get your mother for Mother's Day, and hopefully yours will turn out something like this. If you like this video, please subscribe. <laughs> if you don't like this video, or if you think you could potentially be our future husband, subscribe. Bye.